Ooh, close. Three close. wide into turn four. That moves Kyle Busch all the way up the racetrack. He has to catch it. Hornaday catches the wall. Low, and Hornaday catches the wall. Low. Caution down, caution down. Caution is going to come out. Both drivers trying to get by. Look like the 17 of Timothy Peters. They slid up the racetrack. And now Kyle Busch hey, not down, happy at down. all. It's all good, dude. And Kyle on, Busch Bobby. is going to turn on, the 33 into the wall. Yeah. Our championship Damn. contender Hornaday in the wall. Well, Kyle Busch should be parked for this race and maybe the rest of the season for that. Holy cow, I can't believe he did that. Championship contender, Ron Hornaday, hard into the wall. Kyle Busch sends him in. Five, four, three, here we are. Just take two, take two, tighten it up, tighten it up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it, hold it. Hold it. Go, 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 go. Put four on it, put four on it, you motherfuckers. All the way out, 4,400. And we're on fucking sleazy ass by the fucking tires. God damn it, you fuck. Embarrassing. Fucking embarrassing. That's all we've been this year is a big fucking embarrassment. God damn it, can't we get our shit together? For fuck's sakes. Rather win this than any other race on tour. And oh, look at the contact. Kyle Busch gets bumped by the 66, and here he comes right back underneath him. But coming out of turn number four, Denny Hamlin fulfills a dream. Well, I mean, we had a struggling night all night. You know, we had to battle there in a, at the end of the race. And Steven, I guess, got a better run off of turn two, and instead of, you know, turning low to pass me, you know, he just hit me in the back end there. and. Drove into turn three, and he knew I was going to hit him, so he moved up the racetrack out of my way, and uh, we got through there luckily, and we were able to come home third or whatever we were. I don't even know. But, uh, you know, when, when you bump somebody on the straightaway, if you want to play boys' games like that, you know, then it's every man for himself. And uh, I don't care. I'll wreck as many cars as I need to. So, um, it, to me, I'm, I'm not going for points. If he's going for points, it's going to hurt him a lot worse than it's going to hurt me. You jumped out of your car, and you went back and had words with him. What did you say? I basically told him that you mess with the bull, you're going to get the horns. And then he wanted to grab my helmet, which is, uh, you know, pretty childish again. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens here in the future. And if he wants to play those games, he's going to get hurt. He landed in the window after you guys came down pit road. What did he say to you? I don't know what he was saying, but uh, if I jerked him by the helmet and just rattled his cage a little bit, you know, him, uh, just, to, just to tell him that I wasn't happy with it. You know, he's just a little girl about it. Uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I just think it's pretty bad, you know, when they call drivers introductions, everybody in the grandstands boogies. You know, uh, uh, it's always for reasons, sore loser. But anyway, good day for Atrius Holmes and John Bean. Thank you. One wall, watch him race with Clint Boyer and Jeff Gordon here. Like I told you, when you come on the bottom like that and you come up the track, you need the whole track. And look like the 18 of Kyle Busch was about the right rear. Let's see where he is right here. He's right up to the corner. Yeah, just went in, run out of room. Boyer came up. As uh, Kyle was coming off the corner. Hey, now let's ride with Boyer. Clear, all clear, quick, get up there, outside, outside, all clear, all clear, all clear. He's in a fence, Yeah, I think the radio said clear, but I'm just don't appear it was clear. I'm anxious to see why Kyle Bush and that 18 didn't come to pit road, and uh, I think Clint Boyer knew. Clint Boyer has experience. Here, Kyle. They're calling A. Kyle, stop. Stop. They're calling you on that. Just stop. Remember, Clint Boyer has a little experience with people waiting on him. That's, uh, oh boy. I don't know if, if that's Jeff Burton and Kyle Bush. Harsh words. And all in one direction. Run your ass down. I'm not. Oh, you don't see Jeff Burton get mad like that very often. Go. He spins the tires. The one gets into him. Now, the 18 thinks he's got room, like Kyle said, because the one car started drifting down. The one car started drifting back up, and Kyle was there. Yeah, and, and look, 
You know, it looks, you look at this on face value and all the people that are Kyle haters out there will say Kyle Bush caused it. He didn't. This is a train reaction. It's like right behind somebody and, and they take off. Oh, Martin, and, and not you know, happy with Kyle Bush. And he's not happy, but I think when he goes and looks at it, he'll realize exactly what happened. Look. And Harvick and Bush. <laughs> he's after him. Yeah, this, this, this has just started now. Kyle says, I have no idea. You got to gonna happen too good there was a pass there was contact and then as Boyer went into the fence Kyle Busch came and turned Kevin Harvick around we know Harvick is he, he he plays rough especially when the race is over with I've seen him climb over people's cars to get to him We've got cars overheated. We've got drivers overheated. And we got wrecked cars. And Bobby Labonte crashed on the final lap. Harvick looking in his mirror. Shuts the switches off. Something's going to have to give here, boys. This we thought it could be Newman and Montoya. Turns out it's Harvick. They are still stopped way up at the turn four end of pit road as Regan Smith does his victory lap. And Harvick's going to put the steering wheel back on. I think Harvick was getting ready to hop out of that thing. I think somebody must have gotten to him. No, nope, wheels no, off again. Here, here he comes. comes. He says, okay, this is enough. I'm going back here and we're going to have a little talk. And there goes his car. That come car just took off. Holy smoly. That's Darlington. Fireworks. Fireworks in the air are the least of it. Meanwhile, tempers overflow. Back in the garage area between Kevin Harvick and Kyle Busch's team. Here come Logano and Kyle Busch for third. Three wide going in there to turn three. This is going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly down here, boys. Oh, and pushes around. Martin Truex is money in Las Vegas. He wins. Kyle Busch slides down the pit road and teammates are side by side at the finish for four. 17. He's not going to be happy. No, he did. He did I think I'll make a little move contact right there. there. Yeah, that's what you said. Come on, let's see if they're going to fight. I want to see this. <laughs> that little right, discussion. A few little words here. He's like, hey, dude, one of us is going to win. <laughs> Well, we thought Toyota might have a chance to get their first victory here at Michigan, but uh, didn't happen. Oh. oh, here we go. Nothing wrong with controversy. Well, you need to get the helmets off. I don't He's know. That might be you. a smart move on Vickers' part. Yeah, if you're going to punch you, you better leave the helmet on, Andy. I saw somebody grab him. Grab was it Kyle Bush by the helmet? Yeah, I, that. <laughs> I, think, I think I'd rather have it off. Kyle Busch finished third today. Kyle, the fans saw a great battle, but what were you so angry with Brian about? He hung on my right rear quarter panel all the way down the front straightaway and gave the win to the 88 car. He slowed us down so much, he had no idea the 88 car was coming. And uh, the 88 just drove right by both of us on the outside because Brian Vickers was trying to slow both of us down. Just stupid. Uh, Got one in a wall up here. Martin Truex Jr. caution flag is out. Yellow's out. And 
and that changes everything. Hit the big reset button on it all. We're not done yet. Mark Truex Jr. and then Kyle Busch involved in this one, and that's yeah. rather interesting appearing. Looks like it was Mark Truex. Oh, they must have some contact earlier. And later. What that's all about. Well, certainly um, bizarre circumstances with uh, Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. there. And I agree with your statement, altering the outcome of this race. Still trying to figure out what happened between uh, Kyle Busch and Martin Truex Jr. to set that incident off that brought out the caution flag. The hell was that for? He just dumped you, man. I don't know. And as I suspected there might be, there's Martin Truex Jr. around the 18 of Kyle Busch. Yeah, Kyle Busch's car is down here in the garage, and Martin Truex Jr. came into his into his window net. They were having a fairly heated conversation. No blows were thrown. So he can, and especially, oh, oh we got more than that. Brad's going to be happy about Not that one. Just past start finish here. Race for second place. See if you can get a great top rolling. And two teams now competing no for the control. owner's championship. One Lost of them's in the battery. wall. Okay, he basically just dumped him. Certainly could have been avoided, no doubt about that. They had a great race going on. But look. Oh, there they go. They went again. Oh, there they go. Hard. I told you, you can't do that. Didn't make it that time. Caution is out. Here comes another car spinning. Oh, yeah. And it looks over 34. And that's all because he locked it down. Spin and save, though, for LaJoy. As this wreck is still going on. I'm not so I, I it's going on purpose. Still uh, going on purpose. I think one of them's throttles hung. I'm not sure which one. I would have guessed the 21. Uh, I don't think it's unhung yet. Now, they're both stuck because, remember, it's been raining here for two days and two nights. We just got the left. The guy on the inside has to cut so hard left to stay off of the car on the outside that when it wobbles a little bit, he's got no room. To, there's no forgiving there. The uh, number 57 driver, crew chief, and spotter have been invited to the NASCAR hauler after this race for discussion. Kyle Busch has been up in the transporter, and uh, Kyle, what happened out there? Uh, I had a really, really, really awesome shot back low Chevrolet today, and it was going to win the race, but um, Kevin Harvick wanted to end the day short on us. You know, I got underneath him two or three times, and he ran me low. Real low coming off turn four, especially twice, and um, took all the air off my spoiler. And I got loose and was trying to chase it up the racetrack and squeezed him in the fence. And then he wanted to commit murder on me and drive me down into turn one, wide open, all the way along the side of my car. So I think NASCAR's a little upset with me because I drove it back along the front straightaway the wrong way. And, um, you know, that's just because I didn't want to cause a big fight down there with Kevin Harvick. Kyle Bush was very vocal on his point of view. What was your point of view? And we've got the crash for you here, Kevin. You can walk us through it, even though you already have lived it. Yeah, I don't even need to look at it. I mean, basically, what happened was, uh, yeah, you got a lot of, a lot of these these guys uh, got a lot faster race cars than they do talent, and um, you know, uh, we got stuck together there and riding down the racetrack. I'm trying to get back going straight, but uh, you know, we just kind of hung up there. I was hoping to kind of brush them out of the way, but. Uh, you know, it's just unfortunate for this recent Chevrolet. Um, a lot of fast race cars on the track with a few drivers that just uh, have their head up their rear end and, and don't know how to race side by side. They think you just got to run over somebody. And a big goal for you and this team was the Car Owners Championship, and you're going to take a hit today in that goal. That doesn't matter. I mean, the main thing is we had a, you know, a fast car. We come to these bush races to try to win the race, and, uh, you know, it's just unfortunate we had a fast car. And 
there for three or four laps. We had to uh, get the tires up to pressure and, um, you know, do what we had to do to, to fend them off. But uh, just unfortunate you got morons out there that have to run over people and think it's going to call it racing. See the back end of the 18 kick out. Okay, he got bit. into, he got it, into right it. Moved him out of the way. Oh, He's got the right. lead. Here comes Kyle back at him again. He's going to get to him. Yeah, gave him a little shove. Ah, the bump and run, the Bristol move. There comes Denny Hamlin right there, too. Denny Hamlin said, my turn to play. I got a bumper, too. A few moments later. Here's the post race. There's still. <laughs> Let's go down to Jamie Little. Hamlin is good on the bottom, but that 18 is good on the top, and he blocks him. Oh, he put a block he on put him. He put him in the wall. He put him in the wall. Oh, trouble. Car in the wall. Two of them hard. Wreck behind you. Wreck behind you. This changes everything. If somebody better keep me away from Denny Hamlin after this race. I had this race one. It was one. Straight away. Ooh, man, that was tight off turn two. He's got him. Oh, I believe he's got him this time. Oh, he turned him. No. Oh, he turned oh, him. No. no. No, no. Now, here comes Clint Boyer to take the yellow flag. Oh, no. I just tell you something. I ain't going to go over too good right there. No, it's not. I love the little old boy to death, but that was not a good move right there. I think you just see him. He just gets in there a little too hard, and, of course, Junior's not cutting him any slack. He's keeping him pinned down, but can't run over the man. This was going down the back straightaway. They're neck and neck halfway down the back stretch. And you see Junior kind of roll out, but the, the 18 just gets up the hill a little too much and gets into him. And there just wasn't enough racetrack between them. I think Ooh. he's just there and there's nothing, you know, it's just not, it doesn't work. You know what, Daryl, what I did not like, what I saw, I saw the wheels on the 18 car turn to the right just ever so slightly. I probably could have moved down a little bit lower getting into the corner. He probably could have moved up higher. I mean, it's just a product of good hard race, and I apologize to those guys. You know, uh, it, it's tough that uh, they had a great race car tonight, and they probably could have finished, uh, if not winning the race, probably second. But Rick Pigeon coming on down here was uh, was a friend of mine and has always been a great friend of Dale Jr. That was a little uncalled for, and it's not all about him all the time, so uh, he'll know what I mean by that. Dale Jr., was that a fair racing move, or does Kyle Busch need some extra security leaving Richmond tonight? Whether it's fair or not, he's going to need some security. The worst part about it is is just... I've been priding myself on running good all week, all year, and I was in position for a win, and uh, I ran hard and got wrecked. Oh, looks like Junior really got into the back of him hard. You know, that's, this is the difference between this car and the car tomorrow. The car tomorrow, the bumpers lined up perfect, and it looks like Junior just gave just a little tap coming down the straightaway to kind of help pick his speed up, and it lifted the back of his car up. He just flat lost control of it. Wow. Yeah, I think you're right there. He definitely had the momentum going. And it looks like he could have gotten a little tap and a little sent this down the straight line. You see a lot. Man, that was a tough one. That looked like it came out of nowhere. What happened out there with Junior? I don't know. He'd have to ask him. I just uh, gave him a lane to try to let him go on the outside because I knew he was going to have a run off the corner. And, uh... I got run in the back of and spun out down the back straightaway for absolutely a, uh, no reason, and it was, you know, a pretty stupid move on his part. And obviously, I, I'm sure these guys that he's going to be working with next year don't really appreciate this because they've got a championship they can win this year and he doesn't. So, um, you know, I don't know what the um, what he was thinking really or what the problem was, but uh, just is very very unfortunate for all these Kellogg's CarQuest boys and the guys do such a great job. We had an awesome car. I thought it was going to be a car that was going to be a top three definitely, if not maybe a winning car. Just Cruising there, riding around, minding my own business on the bottom and just got run over. What happened with you in the five? Well, that's all my fault. I was running the top and he was going by me. And uh, I was letting him go or really wasn't racing him hard. And I thought he was going to run the inside down off the, off the two and run the middle or the middle of the back straightaway there for a second. So I stayed in the gas. He's going to run up back by him. And uh, he moved up and, and uh, I had time to get out of it, but uh, I just couldn't get it done. But... Uh, so it was all my fault. I was screaming as uh, he was down on an apron trying to gather it up. I was hollering for him to save it, but looks like he got uh, fishtailing and spun it out. So I think the first thing Tony Jr. has to do when he goes over there to work in a couple weeks is tear that car apart, and that's too bad. But, you know, anything, uh, 
Anything those guys need. That's the last guy I want to run into, last team I want to have to put out. Those guys are trying to make the chase, and I know how hard it is to try to win these championships, and uh, that didn't help. Caution is out. Oh, my goodness, a lot of damage. Was 13th last time by. And it will not roll, I don't think. <laughs> Look at that. The right rear tire is it isn't even touching the, the ground. That is a bent race car. There he is on the bottom. Looks like Kyle Busch is going to slide up into him. And that's exactly what happened. Around, watch this. Under the caution. Nine is trying to repay it. Marty? Marty? Well, incident number one, what happened, Casey? Uh, we just got taken out. You know, it's... Uh... There's times when, when things happen and, and uh, you know, you end up crashing because of other cars, but right there we just got taken out. And it's, it's too bad for all the Dodge dealers and uh, McDonald's, Stanley, Siemens, everybody that supports this team just trying to get top tens. Was this incident number two payback? Yeah, I mean, when you, you know, when you just wipe somebody out, I don't, I don't care what happens. You know, Dale Jarrett, uh, when he got back at Newman, I think that's the way you got to do it. You know, if, if people are going to run you over for no reason and, uh, you know, and think they're going to get away with it, then you just go out there and ruin their day too. Oh, and into the wall goes Kyle Busch in the 54. Caution Coming comes inside. out. Inside, let me see. Right side, KO'd. The 88 and 54 has been battling for the third spot. Still the right side, we're going to have to come down. It's, it's still rolling. As dominant as Kyle Busch has been at Charlotte, now Coming finds around, himself guys, in trouble. Done. Go through the trouble, enter turn one. You can see they get together. His 88 tries to open up the arc a little bit to try to help his entrance. Gets into the side of the 54 just a little bit. Then a little bit later. Yeah, a few laps later, you see the 88 runs down pretty low. The 54 kind of chases him towards the grass, gets in the right side door. They bang a couple more times as they leave the trial. They're just stuck side by side. Seem to be both getting frustrated being stuck in that position. And then a little contact from the 88. Hit him in the back bumper, got him sideways. Took them both up into the wall. Like the most damage to the 54, though. Into him, but it was, uh, I don't know, know why he started beating on me other than he was, I think he was just frustrated because his teammate kind of used him up just a little bit and then got away from him off turn two. You don't expect anything like this to carry over into the Cup Series on Saturday night, do you? I would hope not. I don't know why uh, he would want to have that battle I mean he's our, what he wrecked me five times I think a couple years ago you know and put me in a bad position for those two years when he was doing that so yeah I don't think he wants that battle on uh, on Sundays